Here we are at Century Link Field for this matchup between the 49ers and the Seahawks. The linebackers today could be the difference makers. You know, since your old teammate Lawrence Taylor, it seems like the rest of the league has now gotten it for the last 20 years or so. These guys really have the ability to dictate the game. So many, well, you know what it is too, Jim? There are more good linebackers out there now than there are defensive linemen. So more and more teams are building their football teams around the linebackers. They can do a little bit of everything, so it makes your defense very tough to, to figure out. You can disguise, and that's why they're such important parts of the game. Percy Harvin gets the chance to return this kickoff. Spins out of the defender's clutches. First down here. Able to take the football out to the 28-yard line. The 49ers lined up in the nickel. Screen pass complete to the 35. Good job that time by the quarterback. Throw the short pass, even though it doesn't result in a first down. Now on third and short, all of your passes are in play. Instead, balls loose, and the recovery is made by the defense. Well, that's what you call a takeaway. That time, the defense just hit the ball carrier so hard that he had to give the football up, and they lose it. McDonald's playing out of position in the backfield here. Now first and ten. And the give to Frank Gore. Running to his right, bringing the play to an end. Bolden's lined up in the slot. Second and ten. Throws the pass. What a hit, and the ball falls incomplete. <laughs> Good anticipation that time by the defender. He gets to the receiver just as the football's arriving, and he makes a beautiful hit to knock the football loose. The 49ers will approach this play from out of the pistol. Third and 10. Brandon Browner with the interception. Well, it's a bad decision that time by the quarterback, and it results in an interception. When you throw one like that early in the game, it could definitely shake your confidence for the rest of the day. Offense lines up here. First and ten. At it for a moment, but the ball is knocked out incomplete. That was a big hit by the defender that time. The receiver drops the football. I'll tell you what, I guarantee the next time he goes over the middle, he'll be looking for that defender. have second down. Justin Smith brings the quarterback down. Well, the defense has got to be happy about this situation. Anytime early in the game you get an offense in third and long, you are looking to make a play and get things rolling on your side. He'll throw it over the middle. Zeroed in on that one. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. It's third down at over 10 yards. you got to give your offensive line a lot of credit. They give the quarterback extra time, and he makes the throw down the field to pick up the first down. Looking for Percy Harvin. Pulls it in. Touchdown. Good job that time by the offense. Scoring that touchdown and putting him ahead. And when you get ahead in a football game, the National Football League, 
It makes you relax and you play better. The 49ers in kickoff return formation. And that return ends rather quietly, short of the 20. Let's mark him at the 16. First down. Frank Gore gets it here. Going to lose yards here. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play and they stopped it. That's second down coming up. Gore. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. And Manningham's a receiver in the slot. Kaepernick's back in shotgun formation. And they bring down the quarterback, and it's a three and out for the offense. The offensive line gets in position. Can they protect their quarterback? Right where it had to be. When you decide to go for it on fourth down as a head coach, you've got to realize that you're going to be one of two things. You're going to be a genius or an idiot. And if you don't make it, look out. The second guessing begins. The Seahawks go with two tight ends on this play. First and ten. Nice throw by the quarterback that time. Put it right on the money. Not a big window. It doesn't matter to him today. Great control of the football. Put it right in there for the touchdown. Seahawks ready here for the kickoff. out to about the nine. What a job by the kickoff team. The hustle. Everybody's sprinting down the field and they get rewarded. They give great field position to their defense. The 49ers in the pistol. First down and 10. Running to the right. Good job by the defensive player. Squaring up that running back and just put his big butt right into the ground. Gore is going to take the handoff now. Left side. Well, they call you an outside linebacker for a reason. That means you play outside, and you stop the wide runs by the offense, and he did it that time. Good job. Makes the tackle. The defense looking for one more stop here on third down after that run. Ball's picked off. Seattle is in for the score. Touchdown. What a catch. What an interception. And not only that, take it all the way back for a touchdown. You talk about the play for an offense. Oh, shoot, that, that gets close to making it a quick. And so they convert it here on the two-point try. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. Frank Gore is in the backfield. Now slashing to the right side, looking for room. Colin Kaepernick has one of the biggest arms in the NFL and is definitely one of the most explosive quarterbacks when it comes to running the football. That was a nice job of keeping it and picking up some good yards. The 49ers will go with the pistol on this play. Swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. Second and ten. He's going deep. Brandon Browner with the interception. Fakes him out. Breaks the tackle. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, 
They read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. slot they better hurry to get the snap Wilson from the shotgun loads it up it's going deep it's incomplete the defender had it for a moment but could not pick it off cleanly second down now They feed the running back. Has some space to work with. When you see long runs like that by a running back, a lot of things have to happen. Of course, he has good vision and he has talent. But how about those blocks down the field, those blocks in the secondary? That's what creates long runs. Hates lined up now as a slot receiver. The wide receiver shifting around in motion. Russell Wilson has his man. It's Percy Harvin on the receiving end. That time the pass is completed into double coverage, Jim, but the quarterback made a bad read. But these receivers, they are so good nowadays. That time in double coverage, he went up and made the catch. It's like Bill Parcell said to me once about Mark Mavaro, a very talented receiver. He goes, remember, Sims, when he's covered, he's open. The Seahawks this time will go with two tight ends. Always aware of the chains. He's got the catch, and he's got the first. The best way to keep the other offense uh, on the sidelines is just keep marching down the field and picking up those first downs. What a good job by the offense. They bring him down at the 29-yard line. What a good job by the defensive player there, just flushing the running back and driving him into the ground. Second down and five. And Harbin, with some nice hands, brings in the bullet pass. Perfect defense call that time. They allow the catch. The coach on the sidelines going, well, what else do you want me to do? We had the guy double covered, and you still couldn't make the play. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. He'll fire it out to the left. Incompletion there, just not quite able to get the beat down. Got to give the defense a lot of... A lot of credit there, don't you, Jim? They are all over the receivers, all over the field, nowhere to throw it, and it just results in an incompletion. Play after play after play here on this drive. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Touchdown. They're just running it up. Nowadays, these receivers can do it all. Look at the jump and catch by the wide receiver. Defensive back, he had no chance here. Extra point is good. The 49ers in kickoff return formation. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. Colin Kaepernick under center. First and 10 to the ground here. They tackle him for a loss. Now the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. They bring in the extra tight end. He's scrambling now, getting sacked. When you talk about a blitz on the defensive side, it's all about timing. Disguise it to the last second and time up the snap of the football. They did it that time, and they get the sack on the QB.
And Manningham's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Looks to his left. That catch, good for a first down. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. That's a terrible job by the defense in the gym. I mean, you, you got third and over 10 yards. You don't get a pass rush. You don't cover them down the field, and you give up the first down. Catch made by Mario Manningham. When you run that drag route across the field, it is not as easy as it looks. You're running fast. You have to catch the football right in stride, and you cannot see what's in front of you. Second down coming up. Takes the snap from the shotgun. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. I love these timing routes. The out route, nice job by the wide receiver. As he's breaking out towards the sideline, that football is right on target. First and 10, looking for an open receiver on the right. On the spot. He's in the end zone. Touchdown. Good job by the offensive coordinator. Calling those plays leads to a touchdown. They're just slowly chipping away at this lead. Now can the defense come out and help them out? They'll get set, looking to convert on this two-point try. Kaepernick standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. They failed to convert on the two-point try, so they'll just have to settle for the six. The Seahawks are in shape now to return the kick. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. The defense comes out in the nickel. First and 10, counter run here. They break through, tackle them behind the line. So many things you could do on first down, and what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. Harvin lined up in the slot, looking for a receiver on the left side here. The tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. Uh, there's nothing the defense can do. When you talk about a receiver like these guys out there now, and, and this one in particular, the double coverage, they're still able to go in between the defenders, rise up and make the catch. And that gains a few. Harvins, a receiver in the slot. Second and six. Baldwin's there to catch a ball that had a lot of heat on it. It's always good when your quarterback is able to deceive the defense with good play action fakes. That's what did it that time. Look at the quarterback. Nice fake. Defense reacts to the run, and now you throw it over the top for the easy completion. It's away from the stack. Brought down. Picks up the first as he's tackled at the 30. The offense picks up another first down and extends this drive. They are, Jim, they're marching down the field, and I give all the credit to the offensive line. They are dominating the defense right now. The Seahawks get a first down. And we've reached the two-minute warning. Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield. First and 10. Working that left side and throws it incomplete. As much as these guys practice during the offseason, training camp, during the week, you think receivers and quarterbacks would always be on the same page. That time they were not, and it's another incomplete pass. Just couldn't get his feet down on that catch. Well, the quarterback that time tried to squeeze it into tight coverage, but no can do. The coverage is too good, the football falls incomplete. Following that incompletion, it sets up third and ten. Almost intercepted. That time, the man-to-man -man coverage won. The quarterback had to make a perfect throw. He didn't. Incomplete pass. Nickel formation for the defense here. 
Russell Wilson has his man. It's Percy Harvin on the receiving end. Nice throw that time by the quarterback in the red zone. Gets a completion. And there's some tight spots. Not a lot of room. So you got to really drive the football in there. You got to give the offensive line just a lot of credit. It's first and goal. They just line up and power the football in there. Nice run, but a great job by the O line. No, it's not. It's a fake. How much does this sting? They get the touchdown, but Phil, they fail to get the two. Jim, I think it takes a lot away from the football team. It's a terrible decision. Now we'll find out if that one point comes back to home. That'll be a touchback, and the ball will be placed at the 20. Colin Kaepernick under center, first and 10. Quarterback, quick toss to the outside. They pounce on him there. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. Tries to ward off a defender with a stiff arm. Good job that time by the running back getting down the field and picking up big yards. After the long game, let's see what they do here. And they go back to the ground, in on the stop. The off-tackle run, it's just what it says it is. You're going to read the tackle's block and decide whether you're going to go inside or outside. Usually, this is the first running play every team puts in their offense when they go to training camp. Nice job that time by the defense. They were ready for the run, nowhere for the running back to go, and they stop him for a short game. The tackle's going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. Always important to know where you are in the football field. That time, a good job by the ball carrier. Just ekes out a first down. Nice job. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. He's going to be swallowed up behind the line. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense. And now they have a good situation. Looking to the right side and throwing. The ball's floated. He's got the touchdown. That's a nice touchdown there. And you're chipping away at that lead. Try to get into the minds of the opponent. Will they get tight? If you hear the word choke, yeah, I think they could be choking over there on the other side. Look out. Well, this works out about 40% of the time if you look back. So from two yards out, they get it across and secure two extra points. 49ers setting up for the kickoff. Percy Harvin will be returning this one. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. Defense comes out in the nickel. Out of the gun. Looking for Percy Harvin. Could have been intercepted. I think that's the hardest pass a defensive back has to defend. The long throws down the field. You have to wait to the last second to make your play. That time the defensive back did it. What a play. This will probably be the last play of the first half. Russell Wilson will take it from the gun. Russell Wilson has his man. It's Percy Harvin on the receiving end. So that's going to do it here for the first half. Seahawks are up here in this one. We're back here now in this one where the Seahawks lead by 21. Let's check in on the sidelines. Danielle Bellini is there. Guys, I get a chance to quickly speak with Bobby Wagner during halftime. 
His team has got the lead right now, and he told me it's up to the defense to make it stand up. He said, as a defense, you don't want to give up a lead, so we're going to come out and make plays to keep this lead. Seems simple enough, guys. I'll send it back up to you. Thanks, Danielle. And now we'll go to the field and complete. Thirty-six yard gain. I like this. Show some patience. Don't try to get it all in one play. Pick up first downs and try to go down the field and score. Frank Gore is in the backfield. First and ten, and the give to Frank Gore. I will say this for the offensive coordinator, he is persistent. They're not running the football very well today, and that time he tries to run the game again, gets a couple yards, but not much. Vernon Davis hauls it in. Well, when you want to spy the quarterback, that's great. You might stop him from running, but look at the open people down the field. Good throw and catch by the quarterback. That reception gave them the first down. Throws to the right. Very nearly intercepted. And Manningham's in the slot. Second down and ten. In trouble now. Going across the middle, right where it had to be. 25 on that play. Well, even though they're down more than seven here, the offense down the red zone, it'll be good for them for the rest of this game, their confidence uh, for the offensive coach that they can punch this in for the touchdown. Here's the first snap after the big play. Screen play is on. Touchdown, and they get one pack. Well, that's a good touchdown by the offense there. And, you know, and what it's done, it's gotten this game closer. Gives them confidence, and confidence is a dangerous thing. We'll see if they can keep moving forward after this. They're going to bypass the point after and try to pick up the two. two so put down a touchdown and a two-point conversion on that occasion. Yeah, good job by the offense. They executed the play perfectly, and they got it in the end zone, like you said, and got that two points. Percy Harvin gets the chance to return this kickoff. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. They give it to the back, and he's running off tackle. Into the open now as he crosses the first down marker. Running backs who can pick up extra yards, they are so valuable. You can't always block everybody to the ground. The running back's got to do it himself sometimes. Nice job there by the running back. When you talk about the play-action pass game, it's really when you call it. You gotta be in a situation where the defense is thinking run, and when they are, do you have the courage, or I should say the smarts, to fake the run and throw the football. Good call that time by the offense. Good job by the defensive player squaring up that running back and just putting his big butt right into the ground. You talk about controlling the flow of the game. Another first down, and the drive keeps on going. Yeah, why not? The defense, they're just sitting over there. They're taking the hits and not even fighting back. Ah, it's a terrible job by the defense. First and ten. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Touchdown, Seattle Seahawks. you got to take advantage of situations like this. Not often in the NFL do you get somebody this wide open. Good job by the receiver. Nice job by the quarterback. Seen him. And what do you get? You talk about momentum. That turns into an eight-point trip, the touchdown and the two. This offense and the head coach and the offensive coordinator, they're all aggressive. So, hey, well, it's not good enough just to get a touchdown. They want to get that extra point or two points. Nice job that time. It's a two tight end formation. First and ten. Frank Gore gets it here. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. 
Anytime you see a defense that can't stop the runs right up the middle, there's a couple things. The middle linebacker's probably not doing his job, and you might not just have enough meat up inside to hold up against those big offensive linemen. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this, over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. That's a bread and butter play by all offenses in the NFL. Get a few yards and get that first down. McDonald's a tight end, but now shifted into the backfield. He's got a little bit of daylight here. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. What a job that time by the offensive line. That hole was so big, he could have drove a car through it. The running back hit it full speed, and that allowed him to get down the field and get that long run. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Lined up in the pistol formation. They'll run with it again. They knock him down behind the line of scrimmage. Well, that time, the defense gets the tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Listen, I blame this one on the quarterback. When you see the defense in a situation like that, you must change the play. Don't waste one in the NFL. You don't get enough chances as it is, and that one lost yards. And he hauls it in. Nice job that time by the defense, knowing the situation. Go ahead and let the quarterback complete the pass. Just make sure you come up and make the tackle before the first down. Good job. Fourth down coming up. Offense lines up here. Hand off. And they'll turn it over on down. The defense does a fantastic job holding strong. Nickel formation here for the defense. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Gains 20. Well, I think we've heard this expression about 7,000 times. It's a passing league. So we all know that. So you got to be able to throw the football, pick up some first downs. The ball is jarred loose. 15 minutes to go. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Not quite as riveting as many expected coming into this one. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. The final quarter underway now with this snap. Another sack. Well, you're on the offensive side. My gosh, you know they're going to blitz. So what do you do? You either throw the football really quick or you have your tight end and running backs help pick up those blitzers so the quarterback has time to throw it. The throw to the left. Russell Wilson has his man. It's Percy Harvin on the receiving end. You're near midfield, it's fourth down, what do you do? I got the answer right here, you punt it. Play field position, make the other offense drive the length of the field to score. Looking for an open receiver on the right, the Seahawks the chains. Got to have a lot of courage to call these type of plays, don't you, Jim? And, and at that time, even though this team is winning, the coach decides to go for it on fourth down. Good play call, and they make it work. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Got him behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Second and 13. Makes the grab. The Seahawks are in the end zone for the touchdown. 
It was a short route by the receiver. He catches it.